Alana, go ahead. Clayton, it's tough. I only get two questions. First and foremost, congratulations. I know how much this means to you. Um, can you put into words kind of what you were feeling when you saw that last out and you came out of the bullpen? Thank you. Um, no, I, I can't yet. It's just, uh, I've been saying, you know, World Series champs in my head over and over again, just to see if it'll sink in. And um, it just, so no, I, I can't put it into words yet. I'm just so, so very thankful to be a part of this group of guys. And uh, so very thankful that we get to be on the team that is bringing back a World Series to the Dodger fans after 32 years. And uh, they've waited a long time. And to get to do that, to get to be on the team that did that in L.A. Um, is you, can, you couldn't ask for anything more. It's incredible. You literally have done everything in your power to achieve this, to be able to do it with this particular group of guys in a, in a pandemic year. Does that make it even more special? Uh, you know, I think this year has been crazy, obviously. Um, but, you know, no matter what, you know, we'll, we'll look back on this and we're World Series champs. And to get to say that and get to get to be a part of it, um, I, 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 it's so special, no matter what, to be with this group of guys. You know, the only thing that maybe would have made it better was if we were at Dodger Stadium tonight to get to do it, um, which is a bummer that we're not. But there were so many Dodger fans here tonight. This place was all Dodger fans the whole time. And um, to get to see, you know, it was only 10,000 people here tonight or whatever, but I, I bet 9,000 of them were Dodger fans that all stuck around after and cheered for us. And um, I'm so happy for them. I'm so happy for the guys in that clubhouse. I'm so happy for my wife that she is just, she's just the sense of relief that she has that we finally did it. And uh, for my whole fan, I mean, just the, the people that are thank, just happy for me, um, is just it's overwhelming just to see the support and um, I I'm just so thankful to everybody that's reached out and um, everybody that's made this possible. Uh, we'll go to Tyler Kepner and then Tyler, go ahead. Do Tyler. Okay, we can go to somebody else. Let's go to. Um, you can go to Stephanie Epstein. Go ahead, Stephanie. Hi, Clayton. Congratulations. Um, you've you've been thinking about this for a long time. What's different about it now that it's happened than what you dreamed? I, I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't think anything's different. I just. I think it's it's a great feeling, and it's. Uh, you know, there's a lot of emotions that go into it. I think just like pure joy for one to have your dream that you've worked so hard for realized um just thankful i think is another one to be a part of this team this group of guys um there's definitely a sense of relief you know i think that we did it and we've been the best team the whole year um we've been the best team before too and haven't won so to get to be the best team throughout the whole year make it through this crazy playoff run and to win the world series is a pretty special accomplishment and uh I'm not going to take that for granted for sure. Uh, Tyler Kepner. Clayton, congratulations. Um, yeah, I, you know, last year in the clubhouse after the last game of the season was was really tough, obviously, for you. Um, what do you think this championship and the way you pitched all month is going to mean for your legacy? And what do you think you proved? This uh, this postseason to everybody. This is yeah, those series. are all bad questions. I don't care about any of that, man. We won the World Series. I, I don't care about legacy. I don't care about what happened last year. I don't care about what people think. Of, I don't care at all, man. We won the World Series. The night the 2020 Dodgers won the World Series. I, like, who who cares about all that other stuff? To be a part of that team, um, all that other stuff is just pointless. It doesn't matter. We won. It's great. We'll go to Ron Blum. Hi, Clayton. Congratulations. At all the times you guys came so close and fell short, were there ever any moments that you started to doubt that you would ever get to here or think about how just unsatisfying it felt to you until now? Once again, man, all those other years don't matter. It doesn't matter who wins, you know, like all, all those other years don't make this any sweeter, you know, like winning the World Series, if you're in the playoffs for the first year is just as sweet. So like 
this is what we've worked for our whole lives. Like this is every single one of those guys has worked their whole lives to be a part of a World Series championship team, myself included. So nobody, those other years are, are done with. Somebody won the World Series and it wasn't us. And now we are the ones that won the World Series. And that, I, I can't get over saying that. It's just amazing. Jorge Castillo, Jorge, go ahead. And a lot of guys have said this is the best team they've ever played on, and they just felt so confident going into this postseason. What made this team, the, you know, if you think so, the best team you played on and, and so confident going into this October? Um, you know, I don't compare other teams, never have. We've been, I've been on some great teams, but this team was really, really special um, all the way through. Every faction of our team, offense, defense, starters, bullpen, there's been so many um, amazing people, talent, guys that fit their roles so well, um, guys that always believe that we're in the game, um, a conviction to win every single day. Um, some of those things you just can't teach. So um, credit to Andrew, Doc, all those guys that put this group of guys together. Um, but I don't, you know, this is the best team I've ever been a part of. We won the World Series, best team I've ever been on. Alana, go ahead. Clayton, there is no question your leadership role on this team, but how difficult is it to see JT not be able to celebrate in the way in which he wants to as, as deserving as he is as well? I'm sure it's really hard tonight and we all feel for him. Um, but I, I hope that he can take solace in the fact that we're not here without him. He is, he's been our guy for a long time. He's done so many incredible things for this organization. Um, He's been the rock in the postseason for us every single year. And they, just like tonight, might not be the night that we expected as a team or that he expected individually. They'll never be able to take away the World Series championship for many of us. So it might not be the same tonight as other teams get to celebrate. And that's not fair, obviously, to fans and us and everybody. But we're still the champs. And someday... Someday soon, I hope, we are going to celebrate and we are going to be there and there's going to be a parade and there's going to be tens of thousands of Dodger fans. I don't know when, I don't know how soon, but whenever that day comes, I know JT is going to be there and it's going to be a special thing. Tim Brown, go ahead, Tim. Clayton, uh, you were one of the last out of the bullpen. Uh, almost. In, man. Was, <laughs> it wasn't, a, it's not an age question. Uh, <laughs> it was almost as if you wanted to hang back and take the whole thing in. Um, can you describe what you were seeing? It looked like you found um, your family in the stands. Uh, can you just describe what you saw in that moment? Yeah, I was trying to take it all in as best I could. Um, you know, I just looking around and running in front of the bullpen, you know, you never really script what you're going to do or how you're going to feel, but um, just that it was just a, it was a content feeling, just like a job is done. You know, we won, we did it, we won our race and it's over and we, we completed our mission. And so I think that, uh, just, a, just a feeling of contentment, joy, um, and then to get to see that group of guys and how happy everybody was, um, it's it, only one team gets to do it every year and it's not an easy thing to do. So it's just, it's just a really special thing, man. Uh, Gabe, go ahead. Uh, hey, Clayton, uh, it seemed like your quest to do this really resonated with a lot of people. And you mentioned uh, feeling happy for people who had, you know, you mentioned your wife and obviously people who had reached out to you. Uh, did you kind of feel that from Dodger fans and, and others as well that, hey, you know, we, we want to see you get over the hump and, and do this? I don't know about all that, but I do know that there's a lot of people out there that have always supported me, um, you know, former teammates, uh, friends, family um, that have been there every single year when it hasn't gone our way, my way. And um, my wife, my kiddos, my family, my friends, all those people um, that have seen the disappointment before. And they, you know, they, they wanted it just as bad as I did and they wanted it for me. And that's such a selfless thing to feel. And so to get those text messages from former teammates or to get those text messages from friends or have friends at the game like I did tonight, have family at the game to just to see how happy they were for us, for me, for our family. Um, it's it's overwhelming just to, to think that people care that much about, about you and have, how they want you to have success and reach your dreams and things like that. So it's not lost on me. And I, I just, uh, it's a, it, I'm just very thankful for every single person that, 
has always been in our corner. We'll go to Adam McCalvey. Adam? Clayton, Mookie gets that, that big double after they make the bullpen move tonight. And now that it's all said and done, how do you sum up what he meant to this game, this series, this postseason, and sort of your whole season? Yeah, I mean, Mookie's unbelievable. He, uh, he's an incredible baseball player, does everything so well that everybody talks about. But, you know, I think that he strives to be perfect, strives to, you know, be excellent every single time out there and that focus and that consistency. Um, I don't know how much better it made other guys in this clubhouse, but I know it did. I know it did some. And, you know, you don't win a World Series without any of those 28 guys in there. You know, you don't. But obviously, he made a huge impact on our team, a huge impact on our postseason. And tonight, a huge impact on the game. Take a couple more for Clayton. Eric Stevens. Clayton, I'm just wondering uh, what Dave Roberts meant to you guys this year and, and perhaps in, in previous years, uh, getting to finally getting the job done here. Yeah, we're happy for Doc, man. You know, I think it's not easy to be a manager. It's not easy to be a manager in the postseason. Um, but to get through this game the way he did, um, you know, to manage the bullpen the way he did, to navigate it through and, you know, gave up one home run tonight in the first inning and then everybody was matched up the way that he expected it to go. And, we won the game. And so that's just, that's a, you know, tip your cap to him, tip your cap to our coaching staff, front office. This is not a, it's not just a player thing. You know, we play the game, but there's so many behind the scenes people that put us in position to succeed. And he's at the top of that food chain. So um, we're all so happy for him. We're so happy for every single person that had a part in being a part of this Dodger group this year. Take a couple of last ones, Kyle Glazer. Hey, Clayton, you've seen guys like Corey Seager and Cody Bellinger come up through the farm system and join this team over the last few years. What's it been like for you watching all this talent ascend, this homegrown talent come up and then culminating in this World Series win tonight? Yeah, you know, talent is God-given. You know, talent is something that there's nothing you can do. You know, you're born with talent. So, but what I love to see is how these guys dedicate themselves to get better, how they work. And Corey and Belly are perfect examples of that. And the way they've grown into leaders on our team, the way Corey was this postseason was unbelievable. Um, just the way he, you know, the focus, the, the intent, the drive to make other players around him better. And um, just a special thing, man, to see all, all those guys that started the way they are, Jock, Barnsey, um, the postseasons that those guys had. I love those guys. Um, the way that Julio pitched, you know, I, I, that was incredible. You know, obviously Walker, you know, he's been doing it for a long time, but uh, I could just go down the list, man. I'm proud of every single one of those guys that stepped in and filled a role tonight and for the, our whole season. Clayton, you.